Did you guys take advantage of those free vegetarian hamburgers that they had last year? I did. I hope they happened this year. Yeah, that I was went my every lunch. Day. That was my breakfast. That was mine and, and lunch. And then stuff. We're going to get some free food. Hi, I'm Kira Knightley. Hi, I'm Kira Knightley. Hi. Hi. It's great to meet you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet me. This line looks important. Let's stand in it. Have you tried this before? I was here the other day, yeah. Okay. And last year. This is a different menu than last year. Yeah, but I was here early and on, on another day. Okay. What one did you do? I, I didn't get the Alpine again. This is great. This is what a scoop I'm getting right now. What? What a scoop. Are there samples out there today? Uh, I don't know. They might be uh, getting it ready right now for you guys. For us? Possibly. Us? They know we're coming? Yeah. I'm Kira Knightley. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet me. Yeah. Uh, she's actually been run, running around. I haven't seen her today, but... How many veggie burgers have I don't know. We'll keep on fighting to the end. Eat that like a champ. This is good morning um, eating music. How's it taste? There's some chips. There's chips. Cheez Its, they give us Cheez Its. Yeah, because you're. Ooh, is that my chili? <laughs> this thing is classy. This is this has got some arugula, some Swiss, and some some sautéed mushrooms. They're giving this shit away. Oh, whoops. You messed my shot up. Dang it. Hi. Jesus Christ. Table. Can we get a new table over here? All right. We're giving out free food to all the patrons. Okay, okay, okay. It looks okay, like your head's it. in a big, giant salad. Warning. We're here in Park City, Utah at the Sundance Film Festival. Hi, right, we are here at the Morning Star Farms Veggie Burger Bar. That's what my cue card says. And you know, back in the turn of the century, this place used to be a whorehouse. This place used to be a whorehouse. This place used to be a whorehouse. I was one of the whores. Whorehouse. One of the originals. <laughs> Roundabout. This is crazy. So this is. Let's just do this for an hour. Oh no, thanks. Just around this corner is the television studio that we are going to. We will be playing in the studio shortly. Robert Mead and 
blown tape. All right, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's why we do it. Free water, man. Free food. Oh, look at the spread. Oh, there's coffee here. Dang it. Some special tent that only people with blue vests are allowed in, apparently. Look, Mom. Fruit trays. Bagels. Something else that was already eaten, but still... Food! I made it! Big time! Didn't want fucking cantaloupe, but told him that. Don't know why they brought cantaloupe. But I do want pineapple. It's a fucking bloody wrap. It's an Aggie wrap. You can have some with me. Yeah. I told them that. I told them I didn't want bagels. I told them that. I told them. I personally enjoyed playing on TV in the studio, Park City. He didn't get any video footage of me, and we still don't have the the DVDs from the studio. So please enjoy this. Now I had the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before Yes, I swear It's a truth And I owe it all to you Cause I I think another highlight was getting to meet Frank Stallone and, and I got your picture taken with him, remember? That Have was it. nice, that was good Yeah, it looks really good together yeah, there's this really cool one you where... You also got a picture of yourself with that woman that I didn't know. Right, Peggy from Mad Men. What's her real name now? Elizabeth Moss. Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Frank Stallone played some good music, I heard. I didn't really see him playing any good music, but I heard that he played some good music probably when I left or before I got there. He was playing some good music. He may have got a little better as we warmed up, but... Yeah, I think getting bumped by Frank Stallone. It's the highlight of your career. I think so, yeah. Hey, so I just went to a showcase where I was supposed to play, but it turns out that Frank Stallone was playing, and uh, he played a little long, so I got bumped. I got bumped by Frank Stallone. Uh, so I immediately went to the bar where they were, the open bar where they were serving booze. That's what a bar does, they were serving booze, and I immediately started to drink lots of tequila. Uh, just to get over this hump. But it was cool. We got to uh, hear a member of the Stallone family play Moonshadow. And if I had lose my eyes before my colors overdrive, if I had lose my eyes, oh, we Very, very surreal. So, yeah, that was interesting. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what else is gonna top that. insult to injury after that. I stuck around for the next band, 
Oh, just horrid, terrible music. Bunch of whores, huh? One more. <laughs> she could or something or I don't know. We got pretty lucky having this regular thing at Beast I mean they pay us, we get a check at the end of the week. But you had to yes. hustle for it though, right? You guys had to hustle for well, it. Well this time they, they finally just, you know, booked me in advance. You know? They did. The yeah. first two sh first two times I had to come here on Thursday and just walk up and down Maine and like secure stuff for the weekend. You, know? you gotta tell Steve you know me. to the Ask Cap Cafe and check out Devil Makes Three who's going to be playing in a couple minutes. That's Anthony McCarthy. Thanks man. Cool. The greatest love is to lay your life down for your friends. He laid his life down on an old rugged cross for you so you could die to yourself. God Almighty, help me. What you doing, kitty cat? What you doing? So, this is where we've been staying the past couple of nights. This is the view from the kitchen. This is good stuff. Butter. This is a good scoop. Olive oil. 
bath tissue. Oh man. It would. Rye bread. Oh, good taste, good taste. Baby Bella. I like this girl already. Cucumbers, spinach, oh. tomato. I love her, and I love her eating habits, shopping habits. Scans coupon. 88.95. Classic shopping. He's all happy now that Dexter confessed to killing a man. Alright, this is our last night at Sundance. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, Bistro. Bye, Big Clock. Goodbye, Java Cow. Robert is playing at the Spur tonight, so that's pretty pretty exciting. He's got a, some musicians backing him up. But let's go check it out. I'm in the VIP lounge. Robert's about to go on. It's pretty cool. I'm the only one in it, so, yeah. I guess I'm gonna go back outside of the VIP. Oh, there's someone else in the VIP lounge. Hi. That's Sarah, right? Yes. Um. If you see the crowd dancing, don't stop. Like, keep the song going for a little while. It's the audience is having a good time. I don't agree with Anthony, but he's right. Yeah, I signed your name, so that's alright. Okay, you need glasses? Alright. No one's left, it's time to answer over. Hello? Hello. I'm Kieran Knightley! Doesn't anybody care? It's the end of Sundance. We're leaving. It's been great. Robert Mead had a great set tonight at the Spur. He's a whole. <laughs> Fine. Just leave. It's like everybody does. The only place with a fire. And might I add, do you know where they get all that gas for the fire? Where? Idaho. They Idaho. ship it in. They ship it in. It's all cow farts. It's a long pipeline of cow gas. I love that. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. What if that went in the fire with the cow farts? Then I'd have to get a new one. And I would have to look on Craigslist because I don't have an upgrade. <laughs> he made him leave. Oh no, no, their silver star got here. Oh. Let's go! <laughs>
Yeah. I know. Jim Jolly. Jim Jolly. Your name's Jim Jolly. 